Right, so our next comic coming up to the stage, I've had the pleasure of performing with him at the Ice House in Pasadena. He performs all around town. Let's give a big welcome to Roy Brewster. What's up, Love It's Club? Yes. It's a good crowd tonight. It's what happened there? It's a good crowd tonight. I got some news lately kind of depressed me. I found out actually I was getting a little old. Not by my glasses. No, not by the bald spot. I won't show you to you now. I had some surgery and I got done. And you know when you get finished and out, the doctor comes to meet you, right? And he says, Roy, Mr. Brewster, we need to get you up out of bed as fast as we can. We've got to get you to your normal activity. Like, fuck, dog, look at me. Laying in bed is my normal activity. <laughs> He thinks he removed a testicle and made me Lance Armstrong or something. I don't know. And I'm like, no, okay, okay. So I go to slide out of bed. And as I go to get out, I got that great gown on with the ass hanging out. It's a good look for me. I should have saw it. It was good. But as I go to slide out, my girlfriend looks at me and goes, oh, my God, I can see the boys. Cover up. Well, she was behind me when she saw them. <laughs> Old man sat. In case you're wondering, 45 years old is about when that happens. <laughs> so I actually am feeling better. I've lost like 150 pounds. Yeah. Some shit, huh? Yeah. And because of, I did it for like medical reasons. And what I found out is I started to look better and feel better about myself. So, you know, I take longer to get ready now. I'm turning into more of a chick lately. I put shit in my hair. You know the bit clay you put in your hair? Clay. It's in there now, looking good. But if you want to go anywhere to start spending more time on yourself and look like that, guys, if you're married or you have a girlfriend, go into their shower. There's shit everywhere inside the shower. They got like exfoliants and scrubs and these, they call them loofahs. They're like scotch brights on a fucking stick you rub yourself with. Well, I noticed as you're looking, I'm looking around, there's some razors in the shower too. I'm like, Phew, I'm going to start shaving in here. No, not there. You're a sick table. I fucking love you. Yes. Yes. A porn trim maybe, but shaving. So I start shaving and it gets real nice and smooth. And I'm like, wow, this shit really works. Well, it goes a couple weeks and she calls me on it. She goes, babe, you know, are you using my razors in the shower to shave? Like, God damn it. Yeah, I am. Well, if, if you're a guy and you get caught, do you just like lay down and take it? Hell no. I'm like, oh yeah? Well, why are there two razors in the shower? She says, well, one's for my legs and my armpits and another one's for my lady place. It's like, wow. You know, the carpets don't make, match the drapes in my house. It's all hardwood floors. You know, you know what I'm saying? I can't watch a Lumber Liquidators commercial anymore without getting all aroused. <laughs> wow. But anyway, I tell her. I said, look, you need to start marking them. Get a blue one and a pink one. Put some tape on one or do something. Because there's no way I'm going to continue shaving my face with anything that's been close to your armpit. <laughs> Not going to happen. Wow. And how many girls out here give a bigger like, guy like me a chance? Four. I love you. When one was at the fucking crazy table. I love that. Well, let me tell you why you probably should. What do big guys like to do most of all? Yes. Crazy table number two. We like to eat. We're very oral. <laughs> Just say there's not many tables I've pushed away from unsatisfied. <laughs> right. And if you do give a big guy a chance, we think a little different. Okay? So here's your, here's your little clue. I'm going to get you in on our wavelength, right? I'm at work. I get a call from my girlfriend. And she says... Hey, babe, how are you? It's like, oh, man, bad day. 
She goes, well, uh, hurry home, because I'm going to put on something nice. I'm like, wow, something nice. <laughs> Hell yes. So I'm driving home as fast as I can. I leave right on the dot, blowing red lights, getting there, and I'm thinking, fuck, perhaps lamb. <laughs> Maybe some prime rib. Oh. And I walk in the door. The oven's cold. She's wearing something lacy. And I smell no food. And now she expects me to do some fucking cardio, right? All right. Love is Club, you've been a blast. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good night. Thanks for supporting live comedy. Give it up for Todd. for Roy, guys. Come on, that's great. Man, all that talking about food made me hungry.